Hey guys, how's it going? Richie here from Irish Startup TV. For almost two years now, I've been filming interviews and little movies about startups. And during that time, I've seen a lot of people and ideas come and go. But I've also come across some really interesting ideas and some really inspiring people. And today I want to share one of those stories with you guys. In July of last year, a young fourth year secondary school student pitched an idea at a startup weekend in this building just here behind us. That student has since gone on to build out an MVP, or minimal viable product of his idea. He's also managed to raise not one, but two seed rounds. That startup's name is Paul Sheridan, and this is his story. Reflex is a peer-to-peer -peer platform that people play games and be rewarded. We want to actually reward gamers. We don't want to have to force them down the route of paying more money to earn what they want. So we give them the option to compete against each other and earn, rather than just compete and get these points that don't actually mean anything. We want to give back to gamers and make them better at gaming. We're for gamers by gamers. It's born out of the frustration that we couldn't do it and we looked to find if anyone else was doing something similar and it didn't exist, so kind of snowballed from there. We started at Startup Weekend uh, over in Google and we pitched there, we ended up winning that. And we moved on, we raised a small bit of money, we built a basic MVP, we got into Startup Next, which is a pre-accelerated program run by Techstars. After that, we raised our second round of funding uh, last week and now we're hoping to go live at the end of August. The first time we raised money it took about six months to close in all and then the most recent one took two weeks. If you prove enough with the money you had previously or even if you didn't have money, if you prove something that works, it's a lot easier. Getting the right people on your team is the first step. Getting someone who's technical, somebody who knows the industry, someone who can advise you. Um, yeah, so it's team, team, team. Pitch in front of 400 people, first time I ever pitched, that was the hardest thing. But the most rewarding as well. The biggest challenge was being taken seriously, like going into a bank and asking them to open a bank account and then they kind of look at you and go, oh, you don't meet our risk assessment and all this. They were the biggest challenges. The biggest opportunities is the people that actually see past your age and they want to work with you and they give you advice and they, you know, they, they give you hosting for a couple of months, those type of people. That's the opportunity as well. When we saw two people trying to offer us money after we raise money, when people start contacting you and go, oh, we're really interested in this, we want to be a part of it, instead of me having to go out and contact a lot of people. When you see people actively trying to get in on your business, you know, that's when you see you're making something valuable. You're never going to stop being nervous, but it's good, you know. If you weren't nervous, there's something wrong, I think. It's better to be prepared going into it rather than just jumping right into it without any experience. Try to watch as much as you can, read as much as you can, go to hackathons. Don't just learn first and then do it right the second time. I think everybody should have a small amount of technical experience, especially in a startup. It's, I think it's just a given these days. You don't have to go and do a computer science degree, but you have to be open-minded and willing to learn why a developer can't meet a certain deadline and stuff like that. I'd say I waste, we kind of worked it out between CSP and religion and P. we waste about six hours a week and we don't do any kind of coding. The closest we do is maths, we don't do any kind of computer work. Um, yeah, it's, I think it should be, a not a requirement, but an option at least. Every time we raise money we want to prove something and now we want to prove that we can get users and we can get paying users and we can get reoccurring users. We want to prove that this works on a big scale. Um, yeah, that's, that's the next step, is launch and get users, paying users. If you've been inspired by watching this video and listening to this story, then please let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you have an idea that you'd like to build out but don't know where to begin, or a startup story that you'd like to share, then please get in touch via the website, www.irishstartup.tv. Thanks so much for watching, and see you again soon.